Hi there, welcome back to Green Guys on the Drive. The last time we were out was, uh, was a couple days ago when we finished getting the system up and ready to run and put our first seedlings in the in the pipes. So we're back a couple days later to check on things and we're also uh, gonna plant the, the, the rest of our seedlings. And I know the last time we talked, uh, we were gonna wait a week or so because of the weather, but uh, after putting the plants outside for a couple nights and realizing they survived, uh, we decided that maybe the cold isn't the issue and we could uh, put them out right now. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, in addition to that, we're just going to check on the system and make sure that uh, make sure the pH is okay, uh, make sure the nutrients levels are okay, and then we'll we will uh, yeah put those other seedlings in the uh, in the ground or in the pipe. Sorry. So let's go and take a look and see how the plants are doing. The ones we uh, put in the put in the pipes a couple of days ago. So let's go to the ones that are up here, sort of at eye level, and you can see that here's some uh, here's some kale, uh, and again it looks pretty healthy, doesn't look wilted. Um, you can see that wick there that we're using to uh, bring the nutrient solution up to the uh, the plants is looking nice and wet, so that's good. And we can take a oh, don't want to disturb that the Chinese vegetable there. And if we take a look along, you can see that most of them are sorry a little bit of camera shake there, but most of them are looking pretty good. And um, yeah, and so we'll just uh, keep monitoring monitoring this as it goes by. Um, you can see there is, I guess, on this one there is a little bit of a yellow leaf, a little bit of discoloration there. Not sure what that's about. It might just be from shock from being transplanted. We'll just keep an eye on that. But um, so far things are uh, looking pretty good. And then the next thing we want to check is we just want to make sure that uh, the water levels are okay and the uh, the nutrient solution levels are okay in our reservoir there and that the air pump is running and uh, and then we'll go ahead and look at the pH and the uh, concentration of the uh, nutrient solution there. So let's go take a look at the water levels here. So we're just going to go and open the uh, one side here and what you can see there is it's right to the top there so that's good and you can see the bubbles so this uh, the, the oxygen pump is in fact on obviously and the air is getting through and uh, adding oxygen to the uh, nutrient solution. So let's put the lid back on that for now and move over to this side here. You can see that uh, the, the water level is a little bit depleted. It's probably about just over two-thirds full but that's plenty of water and the uh, pump is sufficiently well submerged. So we're just gonna go ahead and check the pH. And so I'm just gonna use this pH tape and stick it in the nutrient solution. And uh, just hold it in there for a couple seconds. Bring it out and we'll just compare it to what's on here, lay down there. And I would say we're sitting, just move that up there, probably sitting at about between six and 6.2 there. So we're, we're within that range of 6.0 to 6.5. So, um, yeah, next let's go take a look at the uh, concentration of the nutrients. So to measure the uh, concentration of the nutrient solution, we're simply going to use this TDS or EC meter. And so what this does is it allows us to measure the total amount of dissolved solids or the electrical conductivity of the solution. So total dissolved solids is pretty straightforward, gives you an indication of obviously how much solid or nutrients you've added, whereas electrical conductivity measures the uh, ability of the solution to um, conduct electricity which gives an indication of how many ions or salts um, have been dissolved, which is directly correlated to the, uh, the amount of uh, nutrients you've added as well. So we're gonna go ahead and use this, and we'll use the total dissolved solids, or in how that's measured is, is in parts per million. We'll go ahead and turn this on. So there the meter's on, and it's measuring at above zero there. And we'll go ahead and uh, put this in on the right hand side, on the one side of the reservoir. And we'll let it stabilize there. And we put hold. Okay, and what we can see is we're sitting at about 535 parts per million. That's uh, within the range. I think today we'll add a little bit of uh, what we want is for mature plants that are growing, especially these plants, we want around 700, 800. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, today we'll add a little bit more nutrients to try and bring this up perhaps around like 600, 650. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So now we're going to transplant those seedlings and here you can see those 50 uh, seedlings that are primarily two different types of lettuce and then in the back there you can see one lone spinach that managed to uh, germinate. So we're going to take these and uh, 
get them ready to transplant. So if we look over here, uh, you can see we have those uh, net pots we talked about earlier, the net pot arrangement. And so we have the net pots and you have the hydrogen there and then the little piece of felt sticking up. Uh, so you can see at the bottom again that there's the felt or the wick uh, that helps to um, draw up the nutrient solution um, until the points that the, uh, the roots can uh, reach the bottom of the uh, growing pipes. So let's go ahead and uh, add a, uh, let's go ahead and add a seedling here. So we're going to choose, let's try and just pinch this one out here. There's one lettuce. And there you can see the roots are nicely developed. Just have to uh, untangle this here. Uh, yeah. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and put this in here. So we're just gonna make sure that that rests nice and firmly against the, uh, the mat there, or the uh, felt. And yeah, there's, uh, sorry moving around a little bit, but there you can see it is in contact with the, the felt there. So we'll just put that there, and then we will just reach over here and grab some hydrogen. There you can see it just comes in a bag and we'll just gently place some of the hydrogen around the uh, root plug there in the plant to help stabilize it. Watch the leaves there. And we're good to go. And then here we do is we just take this and stick it in the pipes. So let's go ahead and find Put it in. There we go. And turn it around. And then we'll just do a quick test to make sure that the uh, wick is wet. And you can see there uh, that it is. Place that back in there. There you have it. So taking a look at the garden now, you can see that with the addition of those uh, last 50 or so seedlings that uh, most of the holes in this first unit here are filled. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, we will fill the remaining ones with the, uh, with the next batch of seedlings, which uh, will be started uh, in the nursery in the next couple of days. So stay tuned. Um, we'll be back uh, in the next, uh, we'll be back within the next couple of weeks for an update to the progress on this and then uh, up for the next round of uh, transplants.